Run, Arroyo, run. It rained like a cow peeing on a flat rock last night. Mark and Saya from the Windmill Garden. We had a big rain last night, September 21st, 2025. We didn't run the arroyo by the garden and the corral. We ran the ranch's other arroyo. Let's go check it out. Southeast Colorado is an arid region. It's exciting when the arroyo runs, but a lot of this water runs right off the ranch, down the arroyo to the creek, and eventually the Arkansas River. I am working on a system of catch ponds on our other arroyo. When I'm done with that, maybe I can work over here. Still flowing, hours after the rainstorm. There's a big flood. You can see how high the water ran. Push those sunflowers up high in the bank. Let's go for a tour. We'll drive up south, see where all this water is coming from. My brother went the other direction to check water gaps at the highway. It's amazing how much water can fall out of the air in one big rainstorm out here. This is really gonna charge up the groundwater over here. Let's go check out this shallow well. We have several shallow wells on the ranch, serviced by windmills. Why the heck are there rocks hanging on that pump rod? I've been doing a little work on this old windmill over here this fall. I put in a new pump rod. And my new leathers are really tight. Sometimes guys will put a heavy bar in there called a sinker bar. That's a little redneck ingenuity. Tied some heavy rocks to the pump rod. Bailing wire, works for everything. Got this lumber over here to build a new well cover. Looks like the arroyo ran big enough to put debris all around this tank. I can hear water running over in the draw. Let's walk through this mud and check it out. A little boil hole carving out a pond Groundwater recharge. This is good news for our well. Should have water all winter. Beautiful sight over here in the tamarisks. These are invasive plants and they do soak up a lot of water. It's too bad they're here. Live water in arid southeast Colorado. Not very common. This area of the ranch is called the Four Corners where four pastures meet. We have another shallow well and a windmill to water the cattle here. Three water gaps. Water gaps are breakaway sections of fence. Looks like the flood wiped this one out. This really is a beautiful area of the ranch. Somehow this second water gap held together. You can see how high the water flowed. Right over the top wire of the fence. That's six or seven feet deep. We just got all our water gaps fixed last week. Sometimes fixing water gaps brings a big rain. We've got a pretty cool cattle water station over here. This tank is new, we just put it in and we plumbed it to our pipeline tied to deep wells. Float and float chamber. This is connected to the pipeline. This float chamber protects the float. Then we got our second water source, shallow well and windmill. One beautiful thing about windmill water is that it flows and moving water doesn't freeze. It'll keep ice open in the winter. We've got our drain pipe right on the fence line. Hopefully it keeps both sides ice free. This is water from that shallow well. And here's the overflow. It goes back to the well. Waste not, want not. The rancher before my family set his wells up this way. I'll lift this cover and you can have a look in the well. I could sit here with my dog and watch this windmill pump water all day, but we better finish our checks. Come on, Saya, let's get to it. Third water gap over here, blown out. Here's how our breakaway water gaps work. Gate post broke off this flimsy bailing wire. That bailing wire is handy stuff. If you'd like to learn to make breakaway water gaps like we do here at the ranch, watch this video. 
And here's the fork in the arroyo. Looks like some water did flow from this side, but most of the flow is coming from that direction. Oh, how embarrassing. Let's still get stuck on camera, Saya. Georgie, by the way, these roads are washed out up here in the gravel pit pasture. I think this was ground zero for the storm last night. Let's go check out the Cedar Pond. All wheel drive first this time. Cedar Pond, one of my favorite places. Unfortunately, it didn't rain over here. All the rain came in a narrow strip. I was hoping to see this pond brim full. If it was, I'd be about knee deep in water right here. This water is from rains a month ago. Big 10 foot aeromotor windmill over here. Pump rods are stuck in the well. We'll fix it someday. This is always a really cool spot on this arroyo when it runs. Water cuts deep into this greenhorn limestone, makes a little waterfall. Thanks for joining me today at the ranch, checking the water gaps, the arroyo, and the windmills. I'll see you next time at the windmill garden. Did you make it all the way to the end? If you're still here, you rock.